Greetings, I'm Demonac, and it's Arena Time. Alright, I have a couple of Servant of Kalamos that I could potentially trigger. I have a couple of potentially powerful Shadow Visions. I do have a little bit of early games to keep me alive, and hopefully enough mid-game stuff to fight it out and get card advantage, so... We will see how this goes. There is definitely the potential to get some more amber-based game wins. If I can keep alive to that point, and then I've got there's an amber in my deck, and then the two shadow visions that can turn into amber. But of course I have a lot of other solutions to problems that I can shadow vision my way into, so. Yeah. Damn that, damn that is a good card. In Constructed, but I've actually got a pretty damn good selection of spells for it in this deck. It makes me very happy. Yeah, got some two extra mana. Okay. Um, Frozen Crush is cool. I don't really want to my starting hand. I keep the things I can cast. Oh, speaking of cool, I don't want starting hand. That's not helping. Okay, of course, better later in the game, but also a good cheap way to trigger my elemental based stuff. Opponent probably has elemental based stuff too, otherwise why would you take that piece of crap? Um, if I have both of them out at once, I'm just asking for it. I'm going to do a lot of nothing. It's been pointed out to me that the Frost Giant is no longer in standard and therefore is not in the arena, so the healing myself thing isn't like fooling anyone, but yeah, that's not good. See, if I put out the other one, I could kill her if I had to, but... Oh, that's kind of cool. I was going to do this, but this is more short-term no useful. First now my Worgen is actually alive and sort of useful, and this guy himself is, of course, a 3-4-3. Four, four, three. He's awesome. Sure, you do that. These are not doing much else with your turn after spinning that. Oh, you, you summoned the Firefly. I mean, she might be doing something strong next turn, but that's not a concern for this second. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm not gonna do this right now. I don't know exactly what I need to the same degree, although an argument could be made just getting something good would be better, but since I, I don't, I like having a Worgen out. I just didn't like the idea of putting two Worgens out against a mage, and then she just dropped down, like, something at that, that, 2-2 two, two guy that does one damage while enemy minions or something. So many ways for a mage to kill a pair of 1-1 one, one stealth guys if that's my entire army. Arcane Missile would probably take them out. Um, okay, well, in case that secret was a vaporize, I think we got to attack with this guy. First kill. Ice Barrier, whatever. Not too concerned about that. He's going to get triggered somehow anyway. I could protect my Worgen by taunting the other guy, or I could give my Worgen the taunt as well, force my opponent to shoot it. I could play this guy and try and get myself a good spell. I've got him for next turn, so I'm not too worried about what the guy's next turn. Let's just do this. My for it just seems fairly efficient. It's not like the ultimate play. 1-2 plus Fire Blast would take out my Worgen, but then she's spending still basically half her mana to do that. Which is how I have to look at it against mages, because if you just look at it as free one damage, then they're getting a billion times card efficiency. Yep. Here's another secret. Now we gotta check if that one's a vaporize. Six oh my god, this guy actually has charge. Well, we're gonna test that anyway. Oh, it could be a mirror entity though, because I can't play him because it could be mirrored. Yeah, no, I, I'd love to play one of my good six guys this turn, but I'm going to play this instead in case that's a mirror entity. Um, I'll just get a counter spell. These other guys aren't blowing me away. Yeah, I didn't want to give my opponent one of these. Probably should kill the 2 2 just to make sure, but it's a mage. Okay, well, that's kind of annoying. 
I I don't know if that's that's either incredibly annoying to my opponent who wanted to do a seven cost play right now, or they're just like, ha, I ate your counter spell with a coin, which I got for free. It's hard to tell which. I'm guessing they wanted to do something big though. Okay. Again, testing. No effigy left in this. Okay, well, in case it's a thing, I'm gonna do this. Mirror entity? Not mirror entity? You have six cards in hand? I, I, when I choose this guy, I'm assuming he will never charge, but let's use him now while he has charge. Uh, opponent needs to do something now. Flame Strike won't quite cut it because this guy will still be beating her face in. That's a lot of healing, but I can I can deal with that. Uh, I can maybe use my tiny minions to kill that guy. I'm not gonna kill you this turn anyway, so I'm gonna play him. And I'm gonna heal this guy out of flame strike range, even though if she had a flame strike you'd think she would have used it, but you never know. She took the time to shoot him. Of course if she flame strikes she's really screwed anyway, because I've got 14 damage out. So that's, that's a nice block. You're a polymorph the guy who was discounted for his cost, that's okay. I'm not saying it's bad use of Polymorph, but I'm okay with the situation. In fact... See that ice block? Nope. Alright. I feel like I was particularly tested because... But you can tell by the fact that my pig had charge. My opponent did not cast many spells like cards. Like, my opponent didn't do much at all. So, I don't know what was going on there, but I get the feeling that counterspelling that coin was hilariously effective. But who knows. Yep. So, okay. That worked, but now I've got two wins and no losses, so the matchmaking, by my totally non-proven, backed up by no information except my experience understanding, should be trying to find me a really strong opponent. Or at minimum, if I was designing a matchmaking system, and I'm no expert on matchmaking systems, but it seems to me like the obvious thing is, if a person's got two wins and no losses, you want to find someone that has two or three wins and no losses. That is who you should be pitting him up against. I get the glacial shard like first thing every game, it seems like. Weird. Don't get me wrong, I like him, but it's not like super excited. That is not the world's deadliest first play. Um Do I bother putting him out? I mean next turn I could coin out more. And make it look like I have way more elemental stuff than I do. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna freeze that guy. But I'd rather my opponent spend his entire turn to kill this. Because if he had a two cost decent guy in his hand, he would have just killed this with the one one. But now he's got to spend his turn doing that, which I'm happier with. In, at least in theory. Um, do I coin this guy out? I think I coin this guy out. It's kind of sad. But I don't have a lot of good plays coming up, and he should. Right now, it looks like he kind of controls the board. This pathetic little tiny board that we're starting out with. Power consumes me. That guy's bigger. They don't want to silence him. He would improve significantly. Not shadow wording him either. Um, I think we're going to play this guy and then kill the one-one probably. See what we can get. 
flame strike is pretty awesome. I've already got a holy fire in my hand, or the holy fire would also seem pretty awesome. I think we're going to take the flame strike. Yeah, we're not going to mess with the apothecary. Surprise flame strike for later. Could come in handy. So he can kill either one of my guys and be perfectly fine in surviving. And I will play this, and I will draw like a one cost card, only a little mile cost five or something. That guy is so good. A random minion with five or more attack. Like, that is. They just sort of just like gain a random card, but the, the limitations on that random card tend to make it pretty good. Okay, um. So the choices are I can do this, and it'll probably screw up, it'll draw me an extra card, probably screw up that card by making it more expensive. If I, if I don't play this and draw the Amber next turn, it's going to be like, but whatever. But I'm looking at, I could heal this guy, which is kind of sad, and then I could kill the 2-2 two -two and he'd survive, so I still have him. But then what else am I doing with my turn? Nothing. So yeah, nuts to that. Yeah, slightly cheaper. Again, it's just, it's just for the extra card if it's not hurting me too bad. If the card costs four or more, then it's just pure win to just get that card. So... This is a druid. I think I want to actually try and control the board here. Even though... Like, I want to keep that number of things down. It's been pointed out that when you mouse over your deck, on your hand down here, it shows you how many cards you have with the count. Which is really, really not intuitive. You, you mouse over the deck, it's like, well, that doesn't tell me anything. And then you like look back at your hand, and you still have to figure out if you have 9 or 10. But, yep. Okay, that guy was, which one again? Oh, it's 5-4 Adapt. Okay. That thing's not too strong as a card, but right now it's going to be pretty big on the board. Or maybe not as huge on the board. Okay. Sure, you do that. I'm a pretty sick things. Um... So I could drop this and kill that guy and release two spores. Eh. I could Shadow or Death, but my opponent's probably got a lot better things to Shadow or Death later on. I'd like to play this and get him some, like, taunt action, but I could... I'd have to have something alive next turn to be able to play one of these guys and then play him with taunt. It's kind of awkward. None of the options I particularly want to use. Probably just play this guy as is. Watch out! So I want to save this for a surprise. Or preferably, you know, kill, but at least a surprise. Probably play this guy next turn. He's big and fat. Um, what's going on? Gonna naturalize? I've got a lot of cards in my hand. Naturalize could actually be annoying. It's a seven hit point minion. Like, what else was it gonna be other than naturalize? That gives me ten cards. So yeah, I'm gonna lose a card from that. That bites. It wasn't critical to plan victory, but losing him still sucks. Um, I could flame strike pretty soon. If I put this guy out, they're probably going to get out there and kill. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put him out anyway. If my opponent wants to spend two five attack minions killing a guy who can only attack every second turn, he got pretty good card advantage. That happens. Hmm. I don't know. I got a lot of cards in my hand, but a lot of them are one-cost crap minions. I actually still think this guy is very good. Like, I don't mind seeing him late game. <laughs> if he, if I only draw one card and I draw him, I'm going to be sad. But... But he can have a significant and useful impact. You are going to do that. And you're going to play Hogger. Wow. 
Augur, I am going to blow up. Not a lot of thinking about this one. A lot of lagging, not a lot of thinking. We're going to play Shell Razor. It's fine. So, my opponent's Hogger plan has failed. I'm ahead on cards, even if two of these don't really count. If I, I need to draw one of my uh, Servant of whatever guys, I'm, I need to, like Herald of Calamos or whatever those guys are. So I've got two of them in here, and this would be the time. I could play one of these, play the Calamos guy, discover a card, it'd be awesome. No. Um, that is a fairly big guy. Ugh. Excuse me. I do five damage to him, but I don't like that non-fatal sort of five damage -ness. I could mass silence just to get rid of that and push places up in the card. I could just freeze him to buy time, though. It's pretty solid. So maybe I'm going to do that. I'm going to play this guy. There's the servant I wanted. Can't do him right now, but I'm going to heal myself. And I'm going to freeze that dude. Which, coincidentally, means I don't even have to use one of the... I should have played one of these guys anyway. What the hell am I saving them for? I would have still had one in my hand. I definitely should have just played an extra one of these turds. I only need one in my hand. But anyhow, now his ability will trigger because I cast a thing. I think there was a turn where I was thinking I could do it in the same turn. Of course, it doesn't work that way. But this is fine. Okay, now I want a mass silence because that'll it'll actually kill her one of her jade uses. Got both servants of Kalamos. That is kind of like messing with my head now because they're awesome, but. I kind of want to mass silence. Mass silence isn't going to kill the things there, but I can't like leave those guys out there. It's too much crap. I just have to make sure to play one of these guys next turn, and in the future I can do that. But I think mass spell is going to be pretty worthwhile. I could still play one of these guys and discover. Could take a lot of damage if I try if I'm trying to save out save up for the flame strike. I don't think I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna save myself a lot of damage by doing this. But then I mean I could use this to kill the tree. I'm in much better shape if I do that. But then I won't have played an elemental this turn now. Let's just discover something really, really quick. Uh, Baron Gittin, you're pretty big and awesome. More more time to think about that rope might have been nice. The Frozen Crusher might have actually been better for me. Yeah, then play some more stuff, and then I'll Flame Strike you, or Baron Gettin might actually... Right now, Baron Gettin can handle them all. Ah, oh, that sucks. I liked her better when she was silenced. Now you're gonna get more crap. Damn. Could end up being a large aid. Okay. Just a little fun one. Yeah. Interesting. Baron Geddon? He doesn't kill her. Flame Strike would leave my opponent with a 4 4, and that Jade would really be building up. But. but Baron Geddon won't kill the 3 3 either, so yeah, maybe we'll Flame Strike and just cast some, grow, some junk. And I would cast him, but I've got to do an elemental to make sure that my Servant of Calamos is still prepped. Like my it's kind of weird, weird that the Servant of Calamos, like, being I'm Elemental triggered, glow fades between turns. I just played an Elemental, so he's going to be ready for the next turn. I would have 
thought that you'd want to make it show that, but whatever. Okay, now what? So currently Baron Geddon would kill those turds. I don't know why I'm calling everyone turds. But that's, that's where we come to as a nation. Anyhow, what are you doing? I have the card advantage mostly. You're playing more junky guys. That's fine. Is, it, is that the end of your turn? You're hitting that for one. What do you do? Okay, wow, you're not doing much. I am fine with this. I'm just going to... Geddon. It may not even be the ideal thing. I'm actually doing fine right now. Uh, I'm going to heal for one. I can play these other guys. They'll die. I did have, like, I had enough... Uh, I had enough mana there I could have thought stole. And it probably would have been fine, but I felt like I had so many cards in my hand I could get naturalized, and that's why I didn't. I think I'd actually be fine, because I'm going to... Thought Steel would only gain me one card because you're spending one to get two, but I got double Shadow Visions. So that's craziness. Lover Baron is pretty fat. So I have Servant of Calimos live. I might want to blow up the Bulber Baron. My opponent doesn't have many, like, cards left with which to do things, so I'm going to blow him up. Shadow Visions. Amber? Really? I can't... Like, it's literally only the cards that are left in your deck. I wasn't sure how that worked. Because so, I've got nine right now. I'm going to want to do that again. Uh, my opponent's got an uphill slog here. I'm just saying. Okay. Sure. I'm gonna do stuff. So. I'm tempted to just cast him, because he'll kick those guys' asses pretty hard, and I can do other stuff with my turn. But I've also got all this amber lying around. Ultrasaur or Gruel? You know what? It's gonna take Gruel a long time to catch up to Ultrasaur's toughness. I'm going to play the two of those guys because it seems like a plan, even though really I should be like probably casting him. But I, I don't I don't necessarily want to do this next turn. I want to Amber again, so. Your move. Oh, you get to Servant too. That's not good because my opponent will now be able to potentially... Like, there's a reasonable chance he can get something big and awesome. He might not, but he also might get another Servant of Calamos to try again. Oh, that's a lot of cards. Okay, I don't like that my opponent is not running out of steam. Like, I may still have to work on this. I don't want to take time out and taunt my uh, Ultrasaur. Although I can't do that and play him. That's kind of annoying. There's the actual free from Amber. Hmm. These are not that great at killing right now. Now I do wish I played this guy last turn. Oh well, let's just Amber again, whatever. Uh, Giant Mastodon is actually <laughs> bigger than Zogoth the Slither Slitherer. Now he's untargetable, but if my opponent has stuff for blowing things up, I'm gonna get it's gonna get blown up any like he's got lots of choices to blow things up, so I'm fine with taking that instead. We're going to hit you. Heal the Ultrasaur. And now that they're behind a wall safely, they're going to attack. So, did he get a really big elemental? I have a suspicion he probably just took another Servant of Calamos, who will have been triggered because the previous turn he cast a Servant of Calamos. Amazing how that works. Gigantoid for 10, whatever. 
he's just not actually the best guy in the world. Like, he's fine. But he's you know, not a top tier legendary guy. We're still okay so far, although like, I can't count those guys so much. But my opponent does still have cards. Okay. My guys don't do that much damage. Although, hit him for two, then buff both of these guys with him. And then the Ultra Sword would be able to finish off Giganto. I wouldn't be casting anything good this turn, but yeah, let's do that. So he's got to go. Seven. If I do this, I still have enough mana to cast him or something. Let's let's start seal and see what I get. Oh, those pretty solid things, which are in my opponent's deck. You wish to live forever. Of course. So my army's still pretty fat, unless he's got more naturalizes. Lunar visions. Okay. His, Starting to look less like his plan is to deck me. So those min if he drew minions, they're cheaper now, but he's desperately trying to draw something. A handful of stuff. That that's a solid minion, but it's not like the size he needs right now. I can see. Yeah. Yeah, I, I had him obliterated with my handful of complete and utter fatness that I still had. It was unlikely that he was going to be able to compete card for card with what I had. Okay, two more wins. Crazy Shadow Visions Amber Tech did work out, although now I've learned that whatever spells I've drawn, I won't be able to Shadow Visions anymore, which I didn't actually know it worked that way. It was not clear to me. Because it's sort of implied, but this is friggin' Hearthstone, and the wording means virtually nothing. So... We'll just have to see if I can keep this up next time. If you enjoyed this, please click the like button. Or on your touch screen, please lick the like button. Warning, licking the touch screen is not recommended. And check out Tales from My D&D Campaign on YouTube.com slash DemonX.